Coach, from what you've seen in Clemson's defense, how does it kind of stack up against the ones in the SEC? Very good. Very good. Very talented. Very, very, um, a very physical defense, but a lot of similarities between that def you know, between their defense and the ones we're going to see in this league, both talent-wise and very well coached. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for our offense. You know, and, and offensively, uh, without question, we've got to be more productive than we were uh, the last time we played. You know, and, you know, our players know that, our coaches know that. Uh, so we're going to have to be very, you know, uh, just a much better all-around um, offensive football team Saturday against a team that's extremely, extremely good and talented on defense. So it'll be, a, it, again, that's going to be a, we've got a work cut out for us. When you talk about a quarterback having poise, how, how difficult is it to maybe get into his head and, you know, the defensive line being more disruptive than, than necessarily getting the sacks? Mm -hmm. You know, when that's the hard thing about poised quarterbacks. I mean, you know, those guys don't get rattled. And usually it comes with experience and age and guys that have been there and done that. And, you know, uh, shoot, Kyle's been in ACC championship games. I mean, you know, he's been there and done that. He's a pitcher and, I mean, he's a, a, a very good baseball player. Uh, you know, he's kind of been there and done that. So. You know, the poise that comes with that position, to me, as you look at him, just looks natural. And it's hard to get guys disrupted and, and break rhythm uh, when guys that are that natural at what they do, you know, uh, it's just hard to get them out of rhythm. But, you know, obviously with our defensive line and our pressure and, and different blitzes and things, that we've, we've got to be able to try to do that. He can't, if he sits back there and just pats the ball and has his choice right now, it'll, you know, it'll be a long night. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, the defensive success that you've had uh, late in ball games, the first uh, couple of games? You know, our defense is, you know, they're playing hard, but we're a work in progress. We're, we're a long way away from where we need to be. But they're, they're trying really hard. And I think we've seen some signs of some improvement, uh, certainly in the front, front part of our defense. Uh, they just got to keep playing hard and, and keep playing within the um, – the structure of the defense is, is what's got to happen. We can't give up explosive plays. Uh, you know, so, you know, hey, we're not, we're pleased with some of the outcome of our defense at this point, uh, but we're not satisfied with, with where we're at at all. And we've got, a, uh, we've got a bunch of improvement this week that has to happen against a really good offense. Would you be a defensive guy? Ted come to you and, and ask you for some help, or do you go to Ted and kind of help him along? How does, how does that process work between mm -hmm. you, and, you know, and Ted? Ted does a great job, and uh, he's the defensive coordinator, and I very much trust in all of my coaches. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I'm very aware of what we're doing on in every aspect of our team, offense, defense, and, and special teams. But uh, Ted and I confer on different things, for sure. And, uh, you know, I try to watch, obviously, as much film as I can on all sides of the ball and be involved uh, to the best of my ability where, where I'm helping. And, you know, but again, just reiterating the fact that I've got a lot of trust in all my coaches and that they got to do their job. And he's doing a good job.